Hello everyone. In 1 Corinthians 13 verse 12 it says this, <clears throat> For now we see only a reflection, as in a mirror. Then we shall see face to face. Now I know in part. Then I shall know fully, even as I am fully known. When my mum was alive, calling in to see her was always going home for me. I was fully known by her. I could let off steam. I could be myself. I didn't have to try to be somebody I wasn't. My mum knew me like no one else. So when I lost her, it was a great loss for me. Losing the most supportive person in your life is a massive loss. A big hole is left. Studies show that people who have caring support live longer, recover from illness faster, and find life more meaningful. Support gives you a sense of connection and acceptance, which are core human needs. It provides an arena in which you can be vulnerable, a place where you can feel safe in saying, I just don't know, can you help me? Or I need a hug. This support is God's way. And if you can't find it in your own family, then you need to turn to the family of God. You need to step out of your comfort zone, perhaps, and develop friendships, develop relationships, where you can have open, honest conversations. And often, for men, we're really bad at this. We're really bad at developing friendships. We have to work a bit harder sometimes. In preparing my recent sermon, Our Promise of Heaven, I have been studying two books that I quoted in the sermon. Uh, the first is Lee Strobel's The Case for Heaven, and the second is John Burke's Imagine Heaven. And I want to read just a couple of extracts from this book. Reflecting on her experience of heaven, Crystal, who had been baptised but never felt loved due to the abuse she suffered in her early years. She admits that it's challenging to find the right words to describe all she experienced in heaven, simply because human language doesn't even come close. Words like beautiful, brilliant and amazing fall far short, she says. What I experienced in heaven was so real, so lucid, so utterly intense, it made my experiences on earth seem hazy and out of focus. As if heaven is the reality and life as we know it is just a dream. Crystal describes being immersed in a feeling of complete and utter purity, perfection, unbrokenness and peace. A kind of assurance she's never experienced on earth. It was like being bathed in love. She remembers, it was a brightness I didn't just see but I felt. And it felt familiar, felt familiar to me like something I remembered or even recognised. The best way to put it is this, I was home. Jesus travelled the countryside of Israel teaching, feeding, healing and restoring dignity to people. He demonstrated the unconditional love of God, who values the most sin-stained human like a uniquely precious runaway child. As a result, the crystals of the world flocked to Jesus. Luke tells us tax collectors and other notorious sinners often came to listen to Jesus teach. The author goes on on the next page, reading through hundreds and hundreds of NDE stories, that's near-death experience stories. I'm all struck by how everyone who experiences this being of light describes a love that would run toward them. 
embrace them, value them, no matter what. And simply want them home, and home is what they describe. Jeff left the scene of a fiery accident to find he was in a different place. This was a place of joy. It was familiar. It was home. I felt real. But I was not injured. I was myself. Sama, who grew up in the Middle East, found herself in the presence of love. He radiated an amazing love that contained deep acceptance. I felt neither condemnation nor shame. At first, I hardly dared look at Jesus. But after a time, I felt my body being lifted up. Then I was standing before him. As he smiled at me, relief poured over my soul. Welcome home, Sama, he said in a voice sweet and gentle yet also powerful. He opened his arms to me. His beautiful eyes were like blazing fires of consuming love that overwhelmed me. 1 Corinthians 12, uh, 13 verse 12 says, Now I know in part, then I shall know fully, even as I am fully known. Heaven will be, be, will be for us place where we can truly be ourselves. No insecurities. For me, that means no more striving to be smarter than I really am. No more striving to sound braver than I really am. No striving to appear more virtuous than I really am. No striving at all. When we get there, you and I will be home fully at peace, fully joyful, and to our relief, fully known. Have a great day.